blackberry picking. Late August, given heavy rain and sun for a full week, the blackberries would ripen. At first, just one, a glossy purple clot, among others, red, green, hard as a knot. You ate that first one, and its flesh was sweet like thickened wine. Summer's blood was in it, leaving stains upon the tongue and lust for picking. Then red ones inked up, and that hunger sent us out with milk cans, pea tins, jam pots, where briars scratched and wet grass bleached our boots. Round hay fields, corn fields and potato drills, we trekked and picked until the cans were full until the tinkling bottom had been covered with green ones, and on top, big dark blobs burned like a plate of eyes. Our hands were peppered with thorn pricks, our palms sticky as bluebeards. We hoarded the fresh berries in the byre, but when the bath was filled, we found a fur, a rat-gray fungus, glutting on our cash. The juice was stinking too. Once off the bush, the fruit fermented. The sweet flesh would turn sour. I always felt like crying. It wasn't fair that all the lovely canfuls smelt of rot. Each year, I hoped they'd keep. Knew they would not 